Well, being a first responder can be an intimidating job for many women, which is why the profession's workforce is made up of predominantly men. But that's changing. A female firefighter told me why she's determined to make it easier for more women to enter the fire service. Basically, we take the sledgehammer and we... Meet Erin Lytle. She's been fighting flames and stereotypes since becoming Draper City Fire Department's first female firefighter in 2017. Stick your ads in. Okay. Okay, and when you're ready, say strike. Strike. I mean, I was the, the only woman. I mean, that's got to say something that they thought that I was beneficial enough to hire and believe that I could contribute to the team. Erin says like she I knew other women were capable of the same thing. This was a need that I saw in the service that I could do something about. And I had great support from admin. They are just like, yeah, you do you. So I just kind of took it and ran. She developed a two-day camp now in its second year. We call it the AFFF, which is all future female firefighters. It's designed to give high school seniors another career option. Draper City Fire Chief Clint Smith says after hearing the idea, he was all in. We certainly are very supportive and uh, have seen the value that females bring to, to our organization and want to create an avenue to continue to, to recruit strong females. The camp itinerary consists of hands-on activities like live fire training, forcible entry, rescuing victims, and other scenarios that Kiki Howard knows all too well. My friend was just like, hey, come to this with me. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. And then after I was like, this is so amazing. Like, this is my new career. Like, you know, I want to be a firefighter now. I'm just a tiny little girl, but going through Aaron's program, you're just like, oh, never mind. I can, I can be a firefighter. <laughs> And she did. I'm excited and proud to award the Russ Grove Scholarship to Kirsten Howard, also known as Kiki. <laughs> Kiki just graduated from the Fire Academy. And I'm so proud of her that she actually is graduating and I know she's going to succeed. And just to be part of that and her story, uh, I just, I am so excited for her. The training and recruitment process is the same for women and men and the chief says it's challenging. There's, there's no doubt there's still a huge physical aspect to the fire service. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Here's the expectations of a firefighter. We all have to meet those expectations. Men can just kind of brute strength through things but we have to have a little bit more of a technique and a finesse with it I guess. We can do the same things but Maybe not the same way. The camp reinforces that message, and Erin hopes it builds confidence and teaches the girls they're capable. Whether you're male or female, right? Anyone mm -hmm. with the passion, with the ambition, with the drive, self-motivation, and grit. If you've got those things, you're going to be an awesome firefighter. Now the camp kicks off this morning and it's full, but for anyone interested in participating next time, you can find more info on Draper Fire's website or there's an Instagram page called AFFF, stands for All Future Female Firefighters.